Today I'd like to tell you all the saga of a band that was around in the 80s and 90s and uh, into the aughts. And um, I found it very interesting and, and rather amusing <clears throat> to hear about this band. And you've probably heard of them <clears throat> if you were paying attention to popular music at around the, the time of the early aughts. Uh, they, had, uh, they were called Lit at the time, and they had a, a, a song called My Own Worst Enemy. It's no surprise to me I am my own worst enemy, because every now and then I kick the living shit out of me, uh, being the, the line that's, uh, that's most memorable. Um, it was a good song, and they, they, they had another, a couple of other uh, hits around that time, or, or, or minor hits, uh, so they, they were doing all right at around that time, but they struggled uh, up to that point. And that's what I found to be really interesting when I found out about the the history of this band. Um, so first of all, the, they were around uh, in the uh, in the mid to late eighties, I guess. Uh, that was when they first came on the scene, and they were at the time, you know, metalheads. They were they had grown up listening to to Ozzy Osbourne and, uh, uh, Iron Maiden and, 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 uh, you know, they were, they were into metal and metal was this, uh, really trendy thing at the time, you know, the, what was good, what gets called hair metal now. So <laughs> they formed their own metal band, uh, and they called themselves Razzle. <laughs> that was their name, you know, like Razzle! <laughs> like it's like uh you know ah, yeah razzle um kind of uh you know a metalish connota uh, connoting metal connoting name um i guess you know sort of uh, connoting this you know partying and and uh you know being uh being spectacular you know razzle dazzle and, and you know you can just hear the guitar solo um, the obnoxious guitar solo. So then <laughs> they were, they were doing pretty well with this metal thing. And then the nineties came around and those of you old enough to remember this will, will remember this extraordinary period of popular culture, uh, uh as far as the music scene goes, I certainly remember it very well. Uh, how around 1991, suddenly metal was just nowhere. Like nobody listened to, to metal anymore for the most part. I guess there were bands like Metallica, uh, and, uh, maybe a couple of other, uh, you know, more, uh, uh, more sort of, uh, um, how shall I say, uh, like kind of established, respected, uh, uh, bands that, that, that made it through this lean period, but there was no more interest in, you know, the, the heavy metal aesthetics anymore. So people, uh, you know, bands that wore spandex and, and had, uh, you know, eye makeup and, uh, and had, you know, long poofy hair and were banging their heads, you know, that, that suddenly was just n nowhere. Uh, that, that, that scene was nowhere, uh, had been replaced by grunge. Grunge was the new thing. And so these lads, these, 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 uh, LA lads, they were, they were straight out of orange County. Um, you know, in the midst of it all, <laughs> they saw the scene change and suddenly they couldn't be razzle anymore. They couldn't be razzle because, um, that, that just wasn't cool. So they changed. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just up and transformed and said, Oh, we're just going to be, we're going to be the grunge, a grunge band now. <laughs> and so, so now instead of being razzle, they, they became stained. Uh, we're stained, stained, stained. Yeah. So, so that's, that was their new thing. 
um, was stained, uh, you know, it, which connoted this, this sort of a more, uh, you know, moody kind of depressed, uh, uh, you know, aesthetic that was grunge. And so instead of wearing the spandex, uh, uh anymore, they, they started just, just wearing like, uh, jeans <clears throat> and, uh, and corduroy and like not corduroy, sorry. And flannel, uh, shirts, of course. And, uh, just, just, just looking like, <laughs> uh, just looking like the grunge, you know, musicians of the, of the period, which is sort of like looking sloppy and just, just not really caring that much about your appearance, except you, except that your appearance still was, was very cultivated. It was just supposed to, it was cultivated to look a certain way, like, uh, like you just didn't care. Um, and like you were depressed and, uh, and so they, they, uh, they were stained for a little while. Uh, <laughs> But they didn't quite break through as stained. Um, success was always sort of, you know, right there on the horizon, but it was eluding them. Uh, so then, 95, 96, 97, these years roll around, and, and now grunge has gone the way of the dodo. There's no more grunge anymore. And the new thing is uh, what gets called pop punk you know bands like green day um and uh the offspring although the offspring started out as, as grunge but they they also made the transition to post to, to, to pop punk around this period um you know blink 182 uh some 41 there's there's a lot of numbers uh, <laughs> with these pop pop punk uh, uh acts um, and the idea was, you know, to have the, the, this kind of ah, punkish at like a kind of attitude, uh, punk light kind of attitude, but, but, you know, have songs with, with catchy hooks and, and stuff. So they were, it was loud, but it was also, you know, uh, uh poppy. Um, and a, a lot of pop punk, I, I, you know, I sort of, sort of like, uh, I'll admit more than, more than I like grunge or, or, or metal. That's just my own preference. So, but in any, in any case, stained was like, Oh, we can't, we can't be, no, we can't, uh, you know, play loud. We, first we were trying to play loud guitar music and be, you know, sexy and cool, uh, and metal. And, and, that, and then we were trying to play, you know, slower paced, uh, more depressing, uh, loud guitar music and, and just be all, all, uh, all sad and, <clears throat> um, and pouty all the time about, uh, uh about, uh, your, their, their mental state. But now they've got to be like lively and happy, uh, but also, you know, sort of, sort of pissed off, but, but not too pissed off. Uh, you know, the sort of, uh, balance, uh, that is the, 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 the pop punk, um, formula. You know, a little bit of pissed off, not too, not too much, but also, you know, a, a, a good dose of just catchy, uh, uh, hooks and, and, uh, choruses and, and some harmonies and, and stuff like that. So that's when they decided <laughs> to become lit. So they went, <laughs> and I just, like, there's something to me that's just so funny about, about how they were just chasing uh, whatever the trends were, you know, where, where's the soul? Where's the core <laughs> soul of these guys? Uh, you know, if they liked metal, if that was what they were embracing at first, why didn't they just stay with that, you know, and, and, uh, and ride it out, you know, and, but they, they, they didn't, uh, they became grunge. And then after uh, grunge became passe, they became pop punk. Um, and it was with lit that they, uh, they achieved some success as, a, as I said, but, um, but it seems that after, after they had success with their first album, they had some, some things that or at, at the first album as lit, they had some things go wrong. Uh, and eventually, you know, they were, uh, their, their next album didn't sell quite as well. And, and, um, 
uh, and so they they were sort of uh, losing ground as lit, and uh, and then they 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 made a transition, the the most the, the weirdest transition of all, uh, the, they they uh, they moved east to Nashville, and became part of the country scene. <laughs> <laughs> because somewhere uh, uh, like somewhere in the 2010s you know you couldn't really do white people music on you know popular on, on pop radio you know you couldn't do uh you know guitar based uh uh songs uh, it, it was like uh, everything was was R&B flavored or or rap flavored um and uh and so, and, 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 and like the more, the more rocking bands were no longer in like the, 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 the top 40 range for whatever reason. I, I don't, I don't know why, uh, why these things happen. Um, you know, the tastemakers just decide to make the taste, uh, the, the, the taste of the, of the culture different, um, to, to suit their own ends probably. I mean, there's probably a lot of that that goes into it, and there's probably some other things that are less contrived. So they they ended up in Nashville. <laughs> so it's just it's just wild. Um, so if you doubt what I'm saying, if you think I'm exaggerating, or if you think I'm giving this band too much grief, uh, I'll link I'll I'll provide the link below where you can see for yourself uh, the the uh, the curious course uh, uh, that this band took uh, over the course of their career, and they, I'm, you know, I'm happy for them that they got some some mainstream success, but there's there's and and, and you know the, the the song that I know them for is is a pretty good song I think, uh, but like why why just chase trends you know why not try to make a trend why not try to just be this is who we are and and uh i don't know uh maybe i'm just maybe i just hold musicians to too high a standard hold people to too high a standard that's why i'm always disappointed anyway um leave your comments below if you have thoughts about uh about razzle uh slash stained slash lit <laughs> uh, then, then tell me about it below. Thanks for watching.